Alicia presents. I'm Downey the Clown. I'm not the range, I swear to God. Now listen, I want you to go and review this podcast on iTunes and Spotify, alright? Just to make us spo go, 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 go up in the ratings, you know? Alright, if you want to learn more, visit moralhole.com and immoraljuice.com. Why, those are the people that hired me for this commercial here. Hey, hey Don, you got any more sniff sniff? Special thanks to Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, Dragomir for The Corn Down at CornDown.com, or FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We wish to thank our patrons such as Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, Dharma Wheelies, MST3Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Ben Jammin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts, 666, Jesus Painus, and Turbo, the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find the Horsey Cat at horseycat.com. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can also find our YouTube at YouTube.com forward slash at Madhouse Militia. I did well. Hi, thank you for calling Hollywood Wax Museum. This is Erwin. How may I help you? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Um, you know how you have the wax statues of different, like, celebrities and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I kind of lost control of of my uh you know better nature and i started to fondle one of the wax figurines and i just want to know if that if you record those things or like what's happening uh so there are cameras throughout the museum oh my gosh i mean i was proper like i i brought flowers to the wax statue i professed you know, my undying love for it, and then I violated it. Okay, well, as long as there's no damage, uh, I don't know if there will be any... Oh, there's no damage that anybody can see, but, you know. Hey, honey, could you ask him if he could give you a copy of the video? Oh, well, it looks like my lover wants a copy of the video. Yes, it was so They're interested. Oh, please... Uh, can you on top? Well, it's just like when you go on the scary ride, when you come at the end, to give you the free picture at the end. No, it's Please, for security. Mr. Nice guy. Oh. But well, you're not going to, so like, hard. put that on the internet, are you? <laughs> I got a reputation. Oh. <laughs> You see how how you've wounded my lover grievously by not giving us this tape. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, is there anything so else I can help? Can you hear the sobbing? It, you can have a copy of it. Is there too. anything else I can help you with? This, please. Yeah, could you like rent me one of the figures? I'll just take it home. That way you can't no. film me doing yeah, things to it. Excuse me, how many oh. fingers? Nope. Many fingers asking. This is a really bad museum. Like, it's not very hands on. Okay, well, go ahead and leave a review and have a good night. <laughs> oh, oh, that this review will be forthcoming that you will not let me have intercourse with your wax figures. We're going to put it on you. Okay. Have a good night. Bye bye. <laughs> 
Okay. Medieval Torture Museum, how can I help you? Yes, hello. I'm stuck in the room. It's very dark in here, dear. I found my phone and fell behind the, behind the mask and the whips and the chains. Yes. Oh, I'm, God, super, yes. I'm super yes. glad people are still doing this. This is a lost art, my friend. I'm sorry. What's it, In this world record museum, this is Josh, how may I help you? Hi, is this a hands-on museum? What's that? A hands-on museum? Yeah, it's interactive. Oh, okay, what do I do when I get there? Do I push buttons? Uh, yeah, you push buttons, tap on screens, all that good stuff. There's a bunch of free games to play. Oh. How do I make it go? Uh, you tap the screen, hit play, and it starts going. <laughs> okay, how do I make it stop? Do I walk away? Yeah, you usually can just walk away and I'll just try to top off. Can I pick it up and touch it? No, not really, unfortunately. Oh. What kind of museum is this? It's mostly just a museum about Guinness World Records, and then there's a bunch of free games, like I said. So how do I, how do I make it... Go. You just walk on in, touch the screen, play the video, or you get to go up to a game, touch the screen. Well, that's a start video, but how do I make it go? By hitting play. How hard do I have to touch it? Really hard. Like you gotta, at home, like, I, I, yeah, that's what I do you at gotta, home. I yeah. smash it. Yeah, yeah. you got like punch it. Yep. I have a proposal. Mm-hmm. So this is like the Guinness. Uh, World Record Museum, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Is there a record for the number, of, the amount of time someone has spent in the museum? Aha. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, not. No, there's no record for that. Hmm? Well, see, there's no record. So if I go there and I stay for like 30 seconds, I'll hold the Guinness record for being in the Guinness World Record Museum the longest. See? Mm hmm. Fucking genius. Genius, man. Can, can we set that up? Uh, yeah, you can come on down, pay 30 bucks, and then go inside. I need a witness. Mm-hmm. You know how you need a witness? Yeah. <laughs> Someone has to be there. Exactly. I'll share the prize money with you. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's going to be so much money. Don't we, don't we have to call someone over from Europe to, like, do the official timekeeping and I give think me the plaque? For, like, I think they have a headquarters in New York. Yeah, you'd have to call them and set it up. Okay. But it, literally anything could be a world record, right? So there you go. Yeah, technically. <laughs> so you're agreeing that. So what do you think is the most impressive world record in there? Um, longest fingernails, uh, longest time gone without a uh, shower. It's probably just the world's tallest guy, honestly. That's probably the most popular one. World's tallest guy? Yep. How how tall is the world's tallest guy? Eight feet eleven. God damn. Mm-hmm. He is tall. Is he is he tall down there too? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> I suppose so. Well, maybe you should remove the pants off of it and have a look. It's in your butt, boy. It's in your butt. They're, they're definitely not that detailed about stuff here, sir. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm giving you angles to bring people in the front door, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, 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 honestly, I, I could care less about that. <laughs> oh, you don't want customers. I see. Hmm. Well, you know, that's all I got for you. Cool, cool. Excellent. Trying to help Have you. Have a good day, guys. That better than pulled pork. Good observatory. How can I help you? Hello? Hello, yeah, sorry. I missed what you said. This is the Griffith Observatory. How can I help you? Hi, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the observatory. Um, I just wanted to know, like, is is it 
is it something that like you have to make reservations for or can I just like show up to look? Yeah, the second one. So it's a museum and it's uh free admission. So you guys show up whenever you want, walk in and that's pretty much it. The only days that we're closed are Mondays. Oh. Um, and w- for example, okay. like on weekends, we're open from 10 to 10 weekdays are open from 12 to 10. Um, and you walk okay. in without reservation. Go the only no thing is, is gone before. yeah, um, the only thing is, sorry, <laughs> something was on the phone. That's interesting. The anyway, only thing uh, is parking is like $10 an hour. Oh, $10 an hour. Like, yeah. does that come with full release or does it come with what? Oh, I'm sorry. Does that come with full release? I mean, $10 an hour. I mean, listen, I've been to bathhouses before, but like, you know, anal observatories are just, I don't know, $10 an hour sounds steep. But I mean, if Yeah, that's the city of LA thing, not the observatory, but yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Like, so is the clientele like pretty like beefcake or is it mostly like, you know, astronomers? Uh, a- anyone. I mean, it's families. Um, I mean, family everyone, everyone shows up. Cool. Yep. Do families show up? Ooh. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it pretty much is a museum. And then once it hits seven o'clock, uh, we open up the telescopes for free public yeah. viewing. Oh man. Like, and you can just like look at, you can just look at all the things. It depends on what you're looking at. The city. Oh yeah. yeah it, it, like, what do they usually like to look at? Uh, I think like last week we were looking at Saturn. There's different ones looking at Jupiter. There's some looking at the moon. Uh, it really does depend. Um, but yeah, all that is available for free. Do, do, do those do those things ever get like embarrassed that you're like watching them? And like they just, <laughs> that's a good question. That's their probably a... celestial like like do they ever go ooh <laughs> ooh you're watching me fresh. Good and then they're all like coy. Operator. <laughs> they're playing coy with like the uh, with their like orbital <laughs> celestial bodies. I gotcha. All right. Yeah, Is yeah. Anything else I could help you with? Um. Yeah. I don't want to seem too you know too on the nose, but is it possible to see Uranus? <laughs> you know what? I haven't seen that. To be honest with you, I have not seen that. Well, I mean, you can just, you know, usually get a mirror, and then um, if you do that, that's a reflective telescope thing. I think that's like, isn't that what telescope you guys use? Yeah, something like that. I'm not too sure, to be honest, I'm more building operations than telescope operator, uh, but it's something like that. I mean, listen, listen, you got to start somewhere. I mean, you got to fluff it up, you know, if you want to, like, be one of the big boys that, like, gets to look at all the hardcore shit, like... (laughs) <laughs> supernovas just like exploding all over the like <laughs> planets faces and necks gotcha all right man i'm gonna go have a good oh. fight there is a good later yeah i mean go who would have... christian speaking hey Hello? hey what's up Please. yeah did you hear the good news i'm sorry what was that Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear the good news that Henry Kissinger died? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. What was that? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I just wanted to let you know that Henry Kissinger, uh, history's most under-prosecuted monster, died. Finally. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, no. I mean, he was a goddamn monster. Look up, look up Cambodia. And like, oh, Chile? Oh, man. Dude, he, oh, he's history's greatest monster. Like, super dead. He's so dead. He was 100 years old. It's an affront to God that he was still alive for that long. Even Betty White couldn't make it to 100. And she was a fucking cure to millions. Right. Um, Yeah, but Henry Kissinger, yeah, no, like... His stupid fucking glasses and his shitty, shitty, like, geopolitical fucking stances. Anyway, uh, is it possible to make a reservation? All right. So, you have to make reservations online, boss. Oh, I can't make it on the phone? No, sir. 
I mean, I've already got you on the phone telling you I've had the best week ever because history's monster has died. Can I just, like, get a table for two? I'm sorry, man. You're going to have to go online. I can't do it from here. Oh, okay, okay. I heard that Henry Kissinger couldn't even get it up or stay hard anymore, which, I mean, to be fair, is, like, pretty understandable for being a 100 and also a fucking monster who has the blood of millions on hands. Right. No, he was. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, dude, like, I have never come so hard than learning about Henry Kissinger's death. I'm not even a weird pervert like that. But, like, that just was so gratifying. Oh, it was just fucking massive. The huge load of millions and millions of dead people. Right. Um, Sorry, boss, I gotta let you go. I'm the only one bartender here at the moment. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Tell him to, tell him to like, you know, shut the fuck up and, and tip out, you know, because he's being a bitch. Anyway, thanks for listening. Henry Kissinger's dead. Everyone's a winner. We all learned a valuable lesson about friendship. Love you. Action. Hey, Any more? Hi. Hello? 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 Hi. How are you doing tonight, honey baby? Hello. Hey. What can I help you with? I'm looking for foo. One foo. Mm, we don't sell that here. You have no food there? Oh, food? Yeah. Yeah, what kind of food? Uh, good food. Um, you have good food? what would you like? Oh, you know, uh, meat. We uh, have a lot of things chicken. that come with meat. You have chicken? Yeah. Okay, one chicken with sauce. <laughs> uh, do you want the enchiladas or like burrito? Oh yeah, and one so. enchilada. And I want it to be very spicy so that when it comes out, it's really hot and burns. The spiciest we have is chipotle sauce, and that sauce would be extra. Is that all right? Yeah. And after, how long after do you think I'll have to uh, go to the bathroom? I'm not too sure. That's up to your body. Oh. Give me one moment. Okay. I don't think she's coming back. You put me on perma hold. We're calling Mount yeah. Sud. This is Karen. Hello. Hey, Karen. Hey. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Hi. Hi. You? you sound sweet. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm. I really appreciate that. <laughs> In in a phone call. Like, you have no idea how much it means to me. Anyway, Karen, I just um, was wondering, like, do, do I need a reservation? No. How many no, people are having in. come in? Yes. It's, it's going to be, like, my men's, my men's uh, grief group. We usually meet after our, our jaunts at the bathhouse, and it's usually, like, six or eight of us. I mean... That I don't know. It, it varies depending on how things. That um, we do appreciate. Oh, sorry, ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, that we do appreciate a call ahead of time to let us know. Um, is that for this evening? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can handle I mean, six yeah, eight. No problem. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. That shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, what I time are you looking at myself. being here? Um, I don't know. In probably like two hours. I don't know. The poppers are really starting to wear off, so it kind of depends. Frankie's been a little bit, like, uncomfortable lately. So we'll say, like, seven guys. Seven men. Okay. We'll see you when you get here. And Oh, oh do you guys still have the art uh, the artful codger sauce? Is this a prank call? What? No. I'm making a reservation for my men's the, the, beef group. The what kind of sauce? Um, what it, it's the artful, it, it, sorry, I, I thought that you guys had, like, a house sauce, like a special, a special, like, you know, 
thing that you guys yeah. do uniquely. I'm sorry. It, you guys That's just okay. you guys just do. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. No, I'm no sorry. It's been a, That's okay. It, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate your understanding. Yeah, it's no been problem. a wild night. I'm sorry. You know, we've we've just been dealing with all this grief okay. lately. Us men. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We like to support each other in our grief. Take it easy, honey. It'll be all right. Okay. Yeah, my wife and child just passed away oh in, a, in a horrific fire. Yeah. Yeah, so... You set okay. the fire, man, and you know that. Why do you tell people that they just randomly died in a fire? You set the fire. Every oh, kiss of is playing with matches. If you come Every in, I'll see you when you get here. I've got to go. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, Karen. I care and I love you. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Historic Hotel Monsignor. This is Anna. How may I help you? Hi. Anna? Yes. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? Oh, good. I'm looking to, uh, well, explain to you a situation that's unfolding outside. Um... We've got a little situation here. There's there's a group of kids that have stolen my, my hat. And uh, I'm a very portly individual. I'm very fat. I cannot uh, I cannot chase after them. I was wondering if you could if you could uh, if you could maybe yell at them. Since you're a point of authority here and I'm not, I don't own the property. I don't even work here. So I figured that you could probably, you know, go and say, Hey, give him his hat back. You know, or, or maybe, you know, you threaten them or something a little bit, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, where are you at right now? I'm right here. Can you see me? I'm right outside the door. I'm waving. I ha I'm on the phone. I'm waving at you. Do you see me? Oh, I'm Can actually, I'm not at the front desk. I'm in the oh, back door. Oh, that's probably why you don't see me. Okay. But I can't ask for someone to go there to help you with that. Okay, but can you stay on the phone? Because I'm scared. These kids are really scaring me. Like they uh, said, oh, yeah. you're, you're fat. You're such a fat motherfucker, you, you know? And they're like, oh, you can't get your hat back. Ah, ha, ha. They're taunting me. And I'm like, you know, I'm 40, and he and these kids are like 8, and they're like, you know, they're teenagers. And they're like, you know, running around. And they, they got in my car. Fatty they, make fat, fat. Fatty make fat, fat. You see, you hear them? Fatty, 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 I'm going to ask for someone to go there, sir. Okay, but I'm very scared. White's got your hat. Na, na, na. Okay, just a moment. I'm going to ask for I'm someone. Gonna, I'm going to be you on scared? your hat. I'm scared. They're, they're threatening to, to make urine, make water on my hat. Good but evening. They don't have this any water I'm going to urinize I'm, your hat. I'm the guest Hello? services manager. How can I help you? Oh, thank God. There's kids out here. They stole my hat. And they're, they're taunting me. I can't, I'm very fat. I can't, I can't get the hat away from them. Uh, gonna eat what did you say it was? I'm out Daddy, here. Fatty, fat, fat, fat. I'm sorry. Uh, what room are you in? Did you say somebody stole your hat? Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just out here, outside. Uh, I was walking by. I don't, I'm not even at the hotel. I'm your hat down the toilet. And they just I'm, took my I'm hat. I'm sorry. They, somebody walking by the hotel took your hat? I, I was walking That's by, and they hat. took my you hat, and I'm very it. fat, and I can't run after them, you see. Uh, who was Quite it that took your hat? A hotel guy? I think this fat bitch is trying to get him hat Hold on, there's a yelling in my ears. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm sorry, it's a little bit difficult to hear you. So no, what what does the hat look like? Hey, give me my phone. Now back. Fatty lost his phone. Now I got Fatty's phone and his hat. Fatty fat fat can't get his hat back. Why would you steal Hello? the poor man's hat? Who is it? Who who is, who is this? Is this your is this your mommy? This sounds like a man. I bet your mommy has a mustache. Who is this? Uh, his mommy does oh, not mommy have a mustache. Is. That's very rude. Mommy wears. You sound like you have a mustache, Miss Ma'am Man. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Good evening, Seaworthy. Hey, Seaworthy. Um, I'd like to make a reservation. Hi. Uh, what time are you looking at? 
Um, in probably like two hours. I've got like a bunch of business partners coming in. We hear that your guys' oysters are just phenomenal. And like, <laughs> listen, I'm not gonna lie. We got a couple. We got a couple like cute girls that like you know they're they're kind of for secretaries. Um, you know, we're trying to loosen them up, get them a little, I mean, not, not nothing like, you know, they say no, of course not, but like, you know, we're trying to, you know, test the waters, sustainable waters, you know what I mean? I, I, I hear you, brother. I hear you, brother. Yeah, yeah, certainly. We can help you out. Yeah. Uh, so what's the name for the reservation? Yeah. Um, it's, uh, for Indian. Indian? Yes. Uh, and last name? John Indian. John. No, 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 Indian. I, I'm sorry. John Indian, yes. John Indian. All right. One moment, please. Yep. Uh, and then how many of your party, John? I don't know. It's, I, I think like four to like seven. I don't know. Betty is being a little bit of a like recluse right now. But I feel like if we get a couple of oysters in her, she can, like, finally loosen up. I mean, kind of, like, let her hair down a little bit. I mean, I always say, hey, Toots, you're looking really nice in that skirt. And she's all like, hee, hee, hee. Oh, but, like, God. you know. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. So you're thinking about four to seven yeah, I mean, reservation? Um, we'll say four to seven. Uh, we'll just say six. Honestly, Betsy's probably not going to be down. Do you, like, honestly... I don't even know why we, like, bring her on these trips, but, like, Mark is really, like, he he thinks she's got potential. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's got it where it counts, you know? She's got a good personality. So are you thinking about 10, 30, or 11? I mean, she's got a big old ass. Um, We'll see 11. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, like, you know, we're going to try to pregame a little bit, you know, like, say, like, hey, Let's do some shots. Oh, let's go to this oyster bar. And then they'll totally know what's going on, but we'll just keep playing it cool. Like, hey, yeah, I hear this place has great oysters, and they're sustainably harvested. And they'll be like, <laughs> oh, my God, that's so responsible. Be like, yeah, you know it. All right. No, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. All right. Well, I'm putting you in right now. Uh, and what's your name? I just want to, like, make sure I give you, like, that thumbs up and be like, oh, yeah. He knows what's up. And then you can, like, look back at me and nod. Because you'll, you'll, like, just see. And you'll maybe you'll see Betty. You'll know it's Betty because she's got that big old personality. Got it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, just introduce yourself, and I'm uh, happy to accommodate you guys. And anyway, and Betty. And anyway, yeah, what's, uh, what's, what's your name? I'm Adam. I'm Adam. What's your name? Uh, Adam. Adam. All right, Adam. Well, I appreciate it. You can, Adam. Yeah, you can... Uh, you can expect us coming in uh, later, and then hopefully we'll be, like, coming in, yeah, you know, yeah, oysters. We love, we love. What's a good uh, callback number for you, John? Um, yeah, uh, the best callback number would be, um, let's see, area code 212. Uh-huh. 773. Did you say eight or two seven three? No, uh, two one two. Okay. Seven seven three. Seven seven three. Six six two nine. All right. All right, Adam. Well, I'll be sure to like you know slide you a twenty for you know this like fucking. Solid, you know, guy talk, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, totally, dude. I hear you, I hear you. Yeah, but, yeah, like, no, no, like, no, uh, and, and seriously, if any of them are, like, too drunk, just let me know. Just be like, she's not, like, okay. And I'll be like, all right. Yeah, no, you're right, Adam. I trust your understanding of this. Because in an oyster bar, it must just be, like, fucking just pussy all over the place, right? Like, you, you oh, just must be like... Like, your toes must get so wrinkly from being knee-deep and pussy all the time, right? I, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's not generally my vibe, but uh, if, if it was, uh, I totally Oh, oh, shit. So. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, knee-deep in, <laughs> knee-deep in uh, 
You know? Um, no, no, no. Man, it's, it's, it's fun. All the thing, all the things. All right, dude. Um, hey, uh, yeah. thank you so much for making a reservation, and uh, looking forward to seeing you at eleven. All right. All right. Talk to you later, Adam. See yeah, you yeah. Soon. Take care, my dude. Bye. Later. See you soon. Bye. I'm here, Yaleen. I'm gonna help you. Hola, Shonika. Hola, qué pasa, señor? Señora, qué pasa? Like, what the fuck did I order yesterday? I ordered things, and I don't Thank know what the fuck. Thank you for calling Los Nuevos. Can may assist? Oh, can you assist me? Oh. Hello? This is a different one. Thank you for calling Omni. We're front is Alex speaking. I'm going to your call. Thank you for calling Omni River. Front is Alex speaking. Hello? Hi, this is Alex speaking. Hi, Alex. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. Um, we're in the car. We just need to know the address. And I'm not sure if I've got it in my GPS correctly here. You think you could help me out with the address? Yeah, absolutely. So the hotel okay, address... Hold on one second. Let me get ready here. Let me press the button. Where is the button? Hold on. I'm sorry. It's it's really confusing, you know? All right, let's see here. The car. Yeah, no. Okay, the car pewter is, is crashing. Okay, well, anyway. Here, yeah, what is it? 701. Yeah. Yeah, 701 Convention Center Boulevard, New Orleans, Louisiana, 70130. Convention, wait, hold on. Convention, wait, 701, 701. 701 Convention Center Boulevard. Okay, here we go, here it is. 701. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, no, oh, 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 are you all right, sir? Yeah, one. Um, what happened? Hello? Where am I? Hello? 701 Convention Center Boulevard. Am I dead? Did no, I just you're die? Talking. Yeah. Who is this? 701 Hello? Convention Hello. Center Boulevard. I'm St. Peter. Welcome to the Pearly Gates. Oh. Uh Uh-oh. Are you sure you're in the right place? Thank you for calling Omni Riverfront. How may I assist? Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? How are you? Hello? Well, I was in a car crash. I was on the phone with someone over there. And uh, they were telling me the address so I could get there. But they they pushed me onto you. I was in a little accident here. Oh, my God. Are you okay? God, yeah. that was a horrific accident. My leg's okay, but... Oh, oh, my, oh my God. Do, do you need oh, help? Look at that. Is that supposed to move like that? Oh my God! There's blood everywhere. Jesus Christ! I'm calling. I'm calling nine one one. I was drinking orange juice. Holy shit! Yeah. Sorry. There's been a horrible accident. Oh. On the other side. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Blood. Blood everywhere. No, it's Kool Aid. Is it? Is a man written too? Nope. Oh, that's paper mache. I think there's like child parts. Strewn about, I'm like, I'm okay. It's just a flesh wound. It's fine. 
I think this man has a problem with seeing a paper cut. Everything's There's fine. There's blood everywhere, sir, sir. Everything's fine. We need to tourniquet this immediately. Yeah, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. Yes, no, uh, it's off of no, the, the highway. Fine. I don't know where we are. I'm sorry. Uh, GPS me. Oh, uh, the humanity. There's just blood everywhere. Oh, my God, I've never seen... Oh. Uh, I've been in Iraq and Afghanistan, and I've never seen anything that's... He's pissing oh. on me. You really did this. Oh, kid. Ugh. Oh, humanity. Oh, Jesus Christ. Passes are on the road. Oh, man. See, my friend die in, in roadside bombings. This is I'm fine. in comparison to this. I'm fine. Sir, sir, I don't know you, but I'm so sorry you had to deal with this. Don't leave me again, Johnny. Oh, hey, no! Hello? Hey, hey, Hotel Mercantile, how can I help you? Hey, Hello? hey, Hotel Mercantile? Yo, hey, yes, how's it going? How's it going? Good. Yeah, no, um, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Toots. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, I was saying, how you doing? How can I help you? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. You sound nice. What's your name? <laughs> Dejanelle. <laughs> oh, Dejanelle. It's nice to meet you. My name's Anthony. Uh, nice to but meet you. But you can call me Tony. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, too. You got a nice voice. Anyway, sorry. I don't mean to get distracted. But I was just wondering if I can make, you know, reservation or maybe, you know... You know, swing by later and take you out to a nice oyster dinner. For two nights? I know this great sustainably sourced, yeah, I know this great sustainably sourced oyster place. Super nice. Need a key? Yeah, you yeah, sound like, nice. I, you, I, sound I like you need to it. shake things up a little bit, right? What you say? Oh, I was saying, it sounds like you, you know, you, you sound like you might need a good night of shaking things up, you know, breaking out of the norm, <laughs> going to a nice oyster bar, getting treated like a lady, you know, getting the wrong land. I don't know. <laughs> I know, doesn't sound nice, right? I don't usually do this, but your voice is just aural chocolate. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, girl. Oof, oof, you got me all hot and bothered. I got the vapors. <laughs> hey, what, what date? You said you were looking for a date? Yeah, yeah, a date, you know. I mean, is that what the kids are calling it these days? You know, taking uh, taking a cute girl out on the town? <laughs> Which dates were you looking for? Oh, um... The ones that don't have necessarily, like, emotional attachment, but, like, are still fun and, like, you know, have the potential of going elsewhere, but, you know, not too serious. Like a Netflix and chill kind of thing without, like, the... I could just, like, kill one. Wyndham Garden, Barone Plaza. Yeah, hi. Somebody needs to come to my room and open my door for me. I've got oil on my hands, and now I can't, I can't open shit in here. So you can't open the door? No, I I was I was uh, I'm a bodybuilder and I was posing in the mirror because I got a competition coming up and I oiled myself up and now I'm, I'm like real slippery and I can't fucking turn nothing. I tried to go in to wash my hands off. I can't turn the knobs to turn the water on. Like I'm just a big fucking oil slick up here. Might as well just call me the Axon Valdez. Well, all our handles aren't round, so they're just the flat handles. So you should be able to turn them. I can't grab it. You don't understand. You don't understand you, that you're a woman. Let me talk to a man. You got a man that would understand? Uh, man, it's tough. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. Hey, Hello. Ooh, how's it going? Anthony, right? Is this, is this, is this Peter? Is, listen, is the girl there? I talked to that girl earlier. Is she there? 
No one is away yet, sir. Oh, it's just you? Oh. Yeah. Well, how you doing, buddy? Yeah. Good. You like to, you know, get down? You like to smoke some mess? You know, get your uh, holes poked and prodded? Sound like fun to you? Hi. Hello, the lovely day at the Hotel St. Pierre. Is Ian speaking? How may I help you? You say Ian? Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Um, I've got some explaining to do, uh, and I don't know how to do it. Uh, so please, please don't mock me when I tell you what happened up here. Okay. What is happening, sir? Well, I, you've been, have you seen the latest TikTok challenge? No, sir. No. Okay. All right. Well, I got a big bucket, like one of the, uh, the, uh, you know, the totes for like when you're putting like stuff away, let's say you're moving or something, the rubber totes with the lids, like you get them at Walmart. Yes, sir. I filled up one of, I filled up one of those full of SpaghettiOs. I had like 65 cans I put in there and then I bathed in it. I got inside of it and now I've tracked this tomato sauce all over the floor. And so I got to like, when does housekeeping come? When do they come? Housekeeping will, very not be here. Housekeeping will not be here until the morning. Okay, could could somebody come up and, like, do a quick clean job? They don't have to do the full thing, but, like, footsteps need to be scrubbed. Sir, I'm the only one here right now, and I must man the front desk. Housekeeping will be here in the morning. Okay, well, yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't make a man come up here and clean up. That's woman duties. I wouldn't ask you to do that. you got important stuff to be doing. But, nonetheless, if you see a female guest going by and look like she could do some good cleanings, could you ask her if she wants to come up? No, it's got the house. Can I can help you? Can you help me? I have a situation uh, pending out here. There's a child that's stolen my hat. And I'm too fat to catch up to him. Uh, I don't want to call the police or nothing because I don't want to get them involved. But I was wondering if you, you could like come out and say, hey... Cut it out and give him back his hat, because I don't want to cause a big scene here or nothing. Where do you think you're calling? The hotel. Okay, so, so are you a guest at the hotel? Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, no. No, I'm just, a, I'm just walking by, man. I'm a local. You're not changed. Andrew Jackson, what's the deception speaking? Andrew Jackson, like the person on the twenty dollar bill? Yes, sir. Andrew Jackson Hotel. Oh, okay. Oh no, I thought you saying your name was Andrew Jackson. Oh no. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. So so what you do what you do when nothing. I'm up in my room and I'm bored. And I was watching I was watching TV and I was bored of that. So I'm calling you now, so so entertain me. What you gonna do when you get off of work? Are you gonna go down to the French Quarter and get a beignet and and then slap people? That'd be fun. No, sir. Um, I want to come down and show my tummy to you and then get you to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Hello? Yeah, hi. Hello? Hi! Don't go this route. Don't be that one. Don't be like that. Flat screen televisions with Don't. Oh. I think we're calling Catahoula Hotel. Hey, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Um, I'm in room term three. I, I, I took something from the mini bar and kind of inserted it, and now it's stuck. And I need somebody to help me with this. Uh, help me help you with the mini bar? Yeah, no, I, I took, I, I've been enjoying the minibar, um, but I, I, one of the items from the minibar, um, I lost it, um, 
inside of me and I need someone to help me fix get this sorted because I am dissatisfied as a as a hotel customer right now with the, the mini bar and the situation I'm in. My okay, wife walked in sure. on me enjoying the mini bar and she looks so disgusted with me. And I'm like, honey, please, please help me. And she's like, no, Mark, you know. And then she just stormed off. I think she might take the kids. But it, seriously, I just sent somebody up here because, like, it's, it's really getting deep in there. And the more and more I try to get it out, it just gets deeper and deeper in there. And, like, honestly, you guys are liable. I mean, it's your mini bar. So, you know. Uh, What's your phone number? be enjoyable, but... I'm in room three. My hands are covered in lubricant. I, I I don't know what room I'm in because I can't open the door. You can't open the door. I can't open the door. I just keep. I can't open the door because my hands are just covered in this lubricant, and I'm just I'm like I'm, I'm trying to open it. I, I know I'm what's on the your, second floor. What's the name on the on the reservation? I know I'm on the second floor. Um, it might be under the- my wife. Or my we we use a we use a business pretext. It might be under the um, it might be the reservation might be under Indian. Indian. I don't know. That's it, it's a silly joke that my company likes to do is make a reservation for Indian. Get it? Because it's it's not funny. It's not. I keep telling them that's not a funny joke. But anyway. Is that blood? Oh God! Oh, it's not much, but it's okay. It's just. Do you have somebody on staff that can help me with this gate? Yeah, I've been doing covers all night, but... and and this and this uh, this this acid is really starting to really hit me hard. Like I've been looking at the wall, and it's just been melting, and my wife is just. She was just shrieking at me, like, why are you doing this again? And I'm like, I'm sorry, it's a mini bar. You know, I can't contain myself. But I can't find your reservation, sir. I don't know which room you are in. I don't have any reservation under I'm India. I'm on the second floor. I'm on the second floor. No, it's not going to be under Indian. It's a joke my company usually does. It's, listen, it, I'm like the second door from like, on the second floor, if you get off the elevator. It might be under Sue. The reservation might be under Sue. Charlie Sean. Or 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 Turkey. Or John Redcorn. It might be under Red Man. Red Man. Mm. Or Nancy Gribble. No. Game and Bach. Um, Manifest Destiny. Broken Treaty. No, sir, I don't have any reservation under those names. You have to give me... Oh, it might be under Rushmore. Can you? Uh, Rushmore. Sorry about it, sir. Oh, uh, um, or, I'm sorry, it's, 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 under, under, it's under Locutius of Borg. All right, sir. Um, so sorry about it. Um, this is Kike from Desk Manager. And seriously, this thing thing is just so stuck in here. I need, I need somebody. I'm on the second door from the elevator. That's all I remember. I can't remember the room number. But like, no, no, no. there's just lubricant everywhere, and it's it's a very delicate situation. Walls melting, all the that I've been taking, and honestly, I think my dog might be dead too. But I haven't seen him in like a week and a half ever mm-hmm. since the accident. So sorry, sir. Uh, you know, I just I just handle right off the door. Um. Mm. Uh, no, I'm. I'm I, just I saying can't put anything more in there. Uh, oh man, it's just my prostate only takes so much insertion. 
No, I'm so sorry. This is Kike and my colleague just passed the, the information. My colleague just passed the phone. To me. Oh, it might be under Mooksy. 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 Sir? Oh. It's Nars' favorite. Oh. Sir? Oh. Oh. Hello, yes? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, sorry. The oh. other men here have been trying to fish us out for me, too, but we've had no effect. There's just lubricant everywhere. You can't open, open the, the door. It's just... Oh. I've never seen so much, like, lubricant. We're just, like, sliding all around the wall. What? Something about a cactus and pricking. Hotel Fontenot front desk. This is Aaliyah. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. I don't know who thinks this is funny. Um, who came into my room while I was gone? Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, somebody went into your room while you were gone? Yeah, I come in here. I came back from a lovely dinner with my in-laws. And when I come back into my room, there, there is a cactus, like, in a vase. Like, it's like got its own little pot plant thing. And it's on a Roomba, and somebody's turned it on, and this thing is chasing me around the room, and it keeps pricking me. <laughs> Sounds like a little uh, vacuum, the stupid little robot vacuum is sitting on top of it and it's chasing me around and it keeps bumping into me and it keeps pricking me with the stupid cactus needles. Did you give your keys to your friends, maybe? No. I only have the I have the two keys that you guys gave me and I've got both of them. Mm. Okay, what's your room number? Uh I'm in two fifteen. Okay, we can do a lock interrogation and see if anyone went into your room. See, ah, get out! Get away from me! See, it's still coming. Crazy. Yeah, I don't, and, and there's no button to shut it off. Like, usually these things run until the battery runs out. Uh, yeah, no, the button, it looks on the top of it. There should be a button on the top, probably. But the cactus yeah. is on top of it. They've got it super glued on top of this thing. Oh, so you can't turn it off. Uh, you should open the door. No, they super glued the. They super the glued it. Door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, take it out of the front uh, door. So but but there's other. But other people. Uh, okay, but there's children in the hallway. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll send p someone up there to get it. If you can just kick it out of the. Room. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. open the. I'm gonna open the door and send it. Send it out. Yeah, send it but out. Send it out into the world. Send it out. <laughs> See, Don, it's waiting. Why do why you say yeah like that? It's like you don't believe me at all. I don't. Um, but I will send someone up to your room to do that lock and turn. No, no, don't do no 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 do don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get I'll get I'll get rid of it on my own. Ah, okay. ah I just threw it out the window. Out the window. <laughs> you told me to throw it out, it's out. Okay. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. You'll be all right. Can I tell you one other thing? I saw my mom fucking Santa Claus one year. You did what? Nothing. Oh, I thought that sounded really funny. I just didn't catch it. Sorry, it's a little bit busy. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. Oh. But if you if you get any unruly customers up there later on tonight and you need them dealt with. Send them up to my room, and I'll give them the what's what and the who's who. Yeah, and chase them around with the cactus Roomba. Yeah, and I'll I'll be like, ah, and I'll put it in their butt. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. All right, huh? All right, yeah, no problem. I'll talk yeah, to you later, right. sweet, sweetness. Yeah, bye. Right, shit, yeah, oh, yeah, right, bye. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Good evening. Thank you for calling Hotel Peter and Paul. This is Jenny. How can I help you? Hello? Jenny? Yeah, I'm here. Yes. Oh, good. Yes, you can hear me. I thought my brother was going to take care of the situation, but he left the phone while he had to go uh, use the bathroom. Uh, we have a little situation outside, though, uh, concerning some children stealing our hats. Uh, we have uh, very nice uh, woolen hats that when we were sitting down outside, uh, some children came by and, and stole. And we tried to give chase. However, we're both very large people, and we can't really get very far on our feet. We have to use our rascal scooters, which we're charging at the time. 
And so we have a little situation with the local children, the vagrants, perhaps. Uh, they've taken our hats, but we really don't want to get the cops involved. We just think it's, you know, maybe if you come out and you come out here and you yell, you know, you tell them, hey, you know, we're going to call, you know, we can call the law if you don't, you know, return the hats or, you know, or else, you know, because I don't want to get and them in you're too in much front, trouble, You're but, in front of where right now? Yeah, right here. Right outside the door. Uh, my, yeah. Oh, and you see the kids there right now? Yeah, well, they went around the building. And they went one went inside, so I'm guessing he's staying here, or maybe he lives here or works here. But we were inside over at the bar. Building? Oh, well, the one that's okay. So we went on the street, uh, Burgundy. Right. So we went there. Okay, I'm just not sure what you want me to do. You can call the police. You're more than welcome oh, to no, do that. Oh, no, I don't want the police, though, because they just want, you know, authority, like someone that's above them. So, you know, you work here, so maybe you just come out, you you know, hey, kids, get away, you know, give us the hats, though. That, that's I mean, all you I'm see them for. right now or no? Yeah, there's there's two over here by the bar. Okay, can you get someone from the bar? I mean, I'm just a woman. What do you want me to do? Oh, is there not a man there? No. Oh, there's no manager there? Or? There is, but she's also a woman. Oh, see, that's the problem. That's the problem. When when there's problems, you can't take care of business. See, that's... See? Yeah, I there's, mean, no, there's no W-O in manager. There's Are no you W-O in the manager. Hotel? No, no, I'm just walking by. Well, then I would suggest you call the police. No, no, we don't want to do that. All right, I'm going to hang up now. They're going to have trouble. (laughs) Thank you for calling me. Please be. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm good, and yourself? I was good, but then I was bad, and then I'm good again. Mostly because I'm no longer sad. I got uh, I got injected with the virus, oh. the computer virus on my phone, and it stole everything. And so oh. I'm happy again, because now I don't have anything to really keep me happy. So I have less now, and that means I have more in life. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me Is put my brother on the phone, because he can handle it. I can't handle it. I, I, I'm handling the virus. It's on my phone. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Here, let me give him the phone. Here, take the phone. Ma'am? Uh, Hello? Yes, uh, I'm the brother. Yes, could you help us make the machine go? We're having a big problem here with the virus. Could you help us? Yeah. Good morning, sir. Uh, good evening. Hey, yeah. Can Hello. I make a reservation? Uh, listen, I don't have a whole lot of time. I need to make a reservation. I'm on one of the pink windows. Sorry, sir. You have a reservation? Yeah, I'd like a Hello. reservation. Hi, yeah, for two men. Um, one reservation? So wait, so two men, one bed? Magic. Yeah. So when, sir? Mm. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's me and my 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 friend, uh, Peter. And we're gonna we're gonna um, hug each other in in one bed. We only need one bed. We're gonna catch up on old times. Sir, did did you reserve or uh, will you planning to reserve uh, make reservation? You know, I'd like to make a reservation. I've got, I've got these holes that need filling, emotional and physical. <clears throat> Sir, uh, are you willing to do the, uh, to make reservation? Hello. Yes, I'd like to make a reservation. Hello. Yes, I want to uh, make a reservation. Okay. Yes, for me uh, and Peter. Me and Peter. We need to catch up on old times and explore each other's bodies. Like we did that one summer, back before Helen. Uh, yeah. 
so you are planning to do to make reservation right sir yes yes i thought we had this conversation you can do in the online sir no i need to do it now can... have you on the phone hello yeah you you're already here i need to make reservation sorry sir i didn't get you sir uh, you are planning to make oh, reservation sorry. otherwise you, you did your reservation yes i'd like to make a reservation um the so name is under ventrum you, want to, you want to make it so you want to make a reservation right now yep. sir oh yes, from tomorrow yes. right sir uh, it's under the name it's under the name ventrum that's what the reservation under the name is of? under uh ventrum It's ben Ford B E N Ben sir, you yeah, can do yeah. in the online then, sir sir your name is Shot Shot sir sir D-H- you can do in the online sir hello sir you can do in the online sir ka re pa no chotu is a chotu then then but the name for the reservation is ban chot ban chotu pan ban chotu just make the reservation for me and peter Um, sir you, you can sir you, reservation for tomorrow uh, one bed yes sir minutes. sir uh, you can do in the reservation the online sir all holes no holes barred tala haram kutar vich no no listen i I don't is there is there a man I can speak to? Teri maadi laan bandi. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone is there anyone there? Is there a woman I can speak to? Cuz I heard a woman. I heard a woman and honestly at this point I feel like she's going to be more rational and logical than you. And I'm saying a lot. Sir, is that even a woman? Is your sister available? Sir, sir you can what's make the matter? sir. Can you, you bring can... her out and Hello. I can kiss her on the lips? Hey, yes, yes. Me, Hello. me and Peter would like to make a reservation for men one bed tomorrow. Hi, my name is Peter Chode. How are you? Hi, my name is Ben Ben Chode. Yeah, we're part of the Chode family. We're part of the Chode family. Uh perhaps you've met our oh, our uh, our our friend our our mother mother her name is mother yeah so it's peter ben and mother chode we're three chodes ma'am can i change the room yeah you can it yes and my father is an owl right? i'm a son of an owl can i speak to her can i speak to her tera bapu bandi sir and all in the table hey that guy doesn't sound indian what's going on hello kutia hello oh yes sir can i speak to the woman sir. sorry sir i need to speak to the woman please i need to speak to the woman in charge because i thought you were the manager cuz like manager but it sounds like she's the wall manager get it so the woman is Debbie speaking how can i help you hey do you have a uh, mountain dew and bacon no what do you mean that no. they they're not together the oh why are you so sure Why are you how are you certain of this? We have Mountain Dew but we don't have bacon. Do you have bacon bits? Nope. And I okay. But do you have anything of the bacon persuasion? No. Can't damn it. What about those uh, nasty 100-year-old hot dogs? What about those nasty 100-year-old hot dogs you have rolling around over there? Any chance those taste like bacon? Nope. Hmm. Hey, um I saw this commercial where they had a 
a 7-Eleven bacon wrap hot dog. We have you wouldn't be bacon. lying to me about. You don't have the BBQ bacon cheeseburger roller? No. We have nothing bacon. What the? I'm looking at your website right now. Hmm. It's pizza. Okay, I'm going to order it. I'm going to. I'm going to order it for pickup. Okay. Go. More power to you. Yeah, but it says I can order right now. We don't Bacon have here. cheeseburger roller dog. And so I don't if know I order it and I come in. looking at because 7-Eleven does not have a bacon wrapped roller dog. Period. <laughs> Dude, it's right fucking here. 7-Eleven.com. Hot food. BBQ bacon. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for uh, Mentos and Diet Coke. Do you have? Uh, I check it, bro. <coughs> okay. Which one? Oh. Uh, Mentos and the Diet Coke. Uh, you like uh, small one or big one? Oh, the big one. I I work for uh, the Cokes. And we oh, have minute, a situation bro. pending. Okay. Yeah, so only doctor paper full, bro. No how cook. Okay, cook you have diet? No, only simple cook, not diet cook. Oh, okay. Yeah, simple cook might work too, yeah. Yeah, simple cook. Diet cook is, I think, full, bro. Only simple cook. Okay, well, we're having a situation with the cook. Um, but know how I big need... big big coke is finished, bro. So you order you, for do, only. Bro, do you have? Bro, do you have the coke from Colombia, the one with the white powder inside? It's very good. White one is good, bro. I don't know. So you talk to my boss, bro, tomorrow. Oh, well, we just want to buy it now. Can we buy it? This yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm looking. I'm on the website right now. It says buy it now. Okay, one minute, bro. Yes, buy it now. And it said the call. Okay, bro. You have that Barton? Barton, no, have, bro. One minute. Which one? The premium, the Barton, the black label? No, No, have. Barton, no, have, bro. What's the next one up? It's better than that. Bro? Just second, bro. McCormick? Bro. Uh, McCormick, yeah. Bro. Bro. Okay, six fifty. Oh, bro. That's bro. 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 Need help, bro. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Taliman, tally me banana. Bro. Hello. Hi, bro. Hi. Yeah, bro, so you five minute wait. I'm called for my boss, so you how much coke order, okay? So I'm talking to my boss. Do you have the hot dog? Why? You have uh, the the food, prepared prepared food? Yep, it's good, bro. I'm one minute, bro. I'm busy right now. (laughs) Oh, bro. Bro. Come on, bro. This is I know, bro. One minute, bro. 11.99. Got any more of those? That's it. That's some good. Bruh. One. Bro. Hey, bruh. Who are you, bruh? And, hello? Bro, Chad. Hi, bruh. Hello. I'm going to go get the titty bar, man. Did he just say titty bar? I'm hearing things. Thank you. Bro, the machine. Oh Bro, the machine. Hello? Hi. Yeah, bro. Bro. Hi, where you been, bro? Yes, bro? Bro. You put my mouth to answer that. Yeah. Uh, we're wondering about hey, some prepared sit- food. What do you got there? Because we're really hungry. Which food? Oh. Uh, yeah, the, the food. fossilized, the fossil food. Uh, 
bro i don't know you you check yeah, for morning time is my yeah, another brother jack, duty yeah we're going to jack it yeah we're going to jack the food yeah it's the yeah. it's the ancient ice man food the 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 old the food. first first cooler okay. one food yeah where where do we attach the chain to to remove the doors is it okay if we attach the chain to the doors to take it away yeah good cuz we have the truck okay we're going to take the door away okay Okay. We're gonna jack all the food, okay? Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Bro. This is his wife too. This is to sound American. Hello. 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 Hi, Hi you bro. sexy Indian man. How are you? Very good. You? Oh, well, I'm very good. Nice. I'm a nice Indian woman. How are you? Very good, very good. So, what are you doing after work, big boy? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Why, why don't you take me out for a nice time? Okay, where are you calling? No, I'm calling from McDonald's. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm waiting for you. Okay. I want a nice, strong Indian man. Okay. Do you want to know my name? No. You don't? No. My name is Betty. Betty Chode. Oh, nice. Is another pretty name? Uh huh. Isn't that a pretty name? Yeah, nice name. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, Ram. Ram? Yeah. Change? What's it? Ramachandran? What is it? Yeah. Can I just call you bro? Okay. Okay, call me bro and I'll call you bro. Okay. What's up, bro? Very good. Thank you. Thank bro? You. Yep. You didn't say bro. Yeah, yeah I see. You're I supposed understand. to say it's good. Ah, there we go. Yeah. So, uh, how's, how's business tonight, bro? Very nice, very nice, good. Yeah, bro? Yeah. You're supposed to say bro at the end of everything. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're not very good at this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I thank love you. you. Bye. Hey, you too. Thank you. You come back here. Come in here in there. Okay, come in and you show me the back room. Yeah. Yeah, will okay. you? Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, you'll show me Ram? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, I hear the. I'm ugly, though. Yeah, I close the. Right here, the tent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be the I'll be the nice looking Indian woman. Okay. That sounds like a man. Hmm. That has large bobs and vagine. Broken. Hi. Yeah. Uh, our brother was inspecting the pipe in the bathroom when he was using the toilet, and he reported to me that uh, there was a crack. In the in the in the toilet when he was making uh, water from his body into the receptacle, and it was spilling out onto the floor. But then he noticed that there was a man. There was a man. He was lying down underneath the urinals. You know who that was? Like, does he work for you? Are you calling the correct place? Yeah, I'm calling the restaurant. Yeah. That does not have a public restroom. Oh, well then where were we? Was that the kitchen? Maybe it was the sink. No. Because that made made more sense. We have a very closed area, so none of that makes any sense to me. Were you there? Yeah, I've been here all night. Were you under the stream? 
I don't believe so. And if this is a prank call, it's a really entertaining but also annoying It's a very bad time. one. Yeah, it's very bad. Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you for calling the Whitney P. Contest. This is Gina. How may I help you? Hi. 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 I'm inside, but I can't find my way out. I, inside. I, mean, all over. I can't find... Well, I'm not really sure. I, I kind of fell in, but I'm, I I can't find my way out. There's It's really dark in here. I can't see a thing. I tried using the flashlight on my phone, but it's it just... It's like there's nothing in here. There's no way out. I, I felt my way around. There's no walls. I have a walk in every direction. I can't... I'm really scared. I'm really, really scared. I... I, I don't know... I was in, you know, the bathroom... And then I fell. But is it like a trap door you know about, or like I'm stuck? Hello. We can okay. make believe there's mountains there. Hi, I'm looking for the mountains. The balance. Yeah, the balance the mountains in the room. Are you looking for a king logo? Are you looking for a king? Oh, no, I'm in the room. I'm looking for the balancing machine. Hey, Bob. Thank you for calling the Super Edo Monk. Oh, I'm happy to see them. Hey, I got a negative pressure situation with the toilet. Um, I forgot to put the seat down, and then I sat down on the toilet, and now it's like my butt is suctioned to the bowl. And I can't get out. Um, okay. My yes, wife sir. thinks... Uh, yeah, my, you know, my wife thinks I deserve it because oh, I always forget to put the seat down. But I'm in an uncomfortable situation where that's the, like, you know, the very tippy top of my butt is touching the water of the toilet. It's quite disturbing. Well, uh, if, you, if you can't remove yourself, sir, at all, I would advise you to call... Um, probably some sort of emergency services to assist you. Oh. Do you have any, like, butter or pan cooking oil or to spray it on there? Economy in. Hi. Economy in. Yeah, do you guys, uh, do you honor the bro code there in your establishment? We don't have a bro code. What are you talking about? Hello. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm having a little problem. Uh, My brother is lost. He's walking around the halls, and we can't find him. You can see him. Can you can you please tell him to come back here, please? Uh, what room? His, yeah, yeah, his name is D. White. He's carrying a whole bunch of pepperonis in his hands. Looks like he got pepperoni fingers. And, and he's supposed to get back here because we're cooking up a pizza in the microwave. Could you please tell him to come back there? He might be right down there at the front desk. He said he was going to get some help for us because the microwave started sparking and making a horrible smell. It, it was horrible. What room? Paper towel was in there. Yeah. What room? Could you, yeah, his name is What room White. are you? He's roaming around the house. Okay, yeah, what room are you? We're in the pepperoni you? room here. Yeah, we're cooking pizza up here. And you could have some, too. <laughs> Super 7. Hey, do you honor the bro code there? Hello? No, the... Yeah, do you honor the bro code? Bro code? Molly speaking. How may I help you? <laughs> Hi. Hey, we're looking to see if you have any of the uh, candy. What kind of or candy? Candy canes? Uh, candy canes. Oh, we have no candy canes. Ah, okay. It's 
too soon, maybe. Yeah. Or too late. It might no, be we have late. none here. <laughs> it might be too late, though. No. Okay. All right. You have a good night. Well, I need to shave. Do you have shavers? Razors? Yeah, we do. We have razors. Okay, like a little good. Here. I got to shave, you know, you know, that spot, you know? And it has to be real close. Thank you for calling, Dizzy. Yeah, hi. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you and cut you off. There's somebody that keeps standing outside of my door knocking, and when I ask who is it and try to look through the hole, he's looking directly at the hole, and he says, put a little mustard on it. He just keeps whispering, put a little mustard on it through my door. Uh, which room are you calling from? I'm in 215. See? He's back which at my door again. He keeps telling me to... 215. Okay. I'm I'm going to take keeps, a look right he, now. He, he keeps telling me to put a little mustard on it. I don't, do you know what that means? What? He keeps telling me to put a little mustard on it. What does this mean? I'm not from here. Mustard? I yeah, he says put a little mustard. I, I don't know what that means. I'm from India. I'm not used to American customs. I don't know what this means. You said you are in room 215? Yeah, 215. The, last, the, the reservation is under Terry Banchard. Who, who the hell is this? My, my name is Terry Banchard. And I need somebody to come, come please. Hurry, please. Put some mustard on it. I'm not going to put any mustard on it. I don't even know what that means. I'm from India. Put some mustard on it. Sir, what does this mean? Islander time. It was, it was a, Where does How can I help you? Hi. Uh, Hi. Do you have specifically um, the right, uh, you know, container to put the parts in? No, me. we don't have we don't have that. Can I put the parts that I found <coughs> um, that's clearing his throat? Like it's the parts are clearing throats. Do you know? No, we like don't they, know about that. They told that. me to stretch the throat and insert the part. But I just want to put the part in the container to put it away. Do you have like a bag no. or something? We we are not we are not even sure what you're talking about, so we. Don't. Oh, it's uh, the part of the... Uh, well, you know, I came in here. There was a woman here, and uh, she was cold as ice. Which room you're in? And so we had birthday cake. We had birthday cake together, and uh, she cut the cake. Which room you're in? Oh, I'm in the bathroom, and she's in the bedroom. No, and, your room uh, number. Oh, it's 215. And so we were eating the cake, and she leaned which, over, which, which, and Did you call the Motel 6 fire. Birmingham, which is on to US yeah. 20? Yeah, 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 that's the one. I and see that there's no one in 205 hour Motel. Right, we pushed the door open. It was, you know, the door was ajar. So Thank you, have a good night. So someone doing their job, you know? Right, the puppy fell in the toilet. Get it out. Hello. Hi. Yeah, hi. Is there a weight limit in my room? Sorry, ma'am? Is there a weight limit in my room? Weight limit? No. Yeah, because I, I brought this fat girl back to my room with me from the bar, and every time she takes a foot into the room, then this, this alarm keeps going off. I don't understand. Ba hey, back up. Go out, back out. See, she goes back outside, and the alarm stops, but when she comes inside, it goes off. Uh, no. It shouldn't be the thing. So what is the room number? Okay, hang on. 215. Honey, come back in. He says there's no weight limit. See, see, as soon as she gets the one foot in, it goes off. Back up. Back out. Am I not allowed to have fat girls in my room with me? So what is the room number? 215. 215. There is no... There is no room number with the name 215, ma'am. We don't have 215. 215, yeah. What no, do you we have don't then? have 215. 
Yes, yes, 215. Congratulations. Yes. What do you have? No, no, we don't have room 215. I'm sure you call the right right, right motel. Where is it? Where, Where is it then? This is Econolodge Hoover. Uh, don't call her a whore. She's just a nice lady I brought back from the bar. I'm telling. I'm asking. Uh, current, are you currently in the room? She she's a, she's a single mother and she found a babysitter for the first time in four months and she's looking to get some strange penis inside of her. But your alarm keeps going off. It won't let me take her in the room and, and fuck her properly. My question, ma'am, is that which room you are in right now? Because we don't have two fifteen. To a 215. I want to get her big hams inside of the room. Can you just come to the front desk, I want to fuck her. Okay, I'll fuck her in the front desk and drink a Capri Sun. Yeah, I'll do all that. She brought a snack pack. She brought Capri Suns, Lunchables, Gushers Fruit Snacks. Thanks for calling. Call the Institute like this. Hi, I'm here with my brothers and my sisters. And we were wondering if you had rooms available tonight. Yeah, but one big room and one big bed so we can all sleep together in it. Yeah, we yeah. have lovely sisters. Oh, hello, yes, our sister. Our sisters hey, have sweater sweater puppies that we really like to cuddle with. Oh, you guys, quit touching them. Let go. <laughs> we got one weird brother who likes to wear a wig and pretend he's the sister. You guys like to look at my stuffed sweater, don't you? <laughs> Alejandro, stop! You're not a girl. Maybe someone brought a patio chair into the room. You don't know how it got there. Hello? Comfort in. Hi. Uh, we were out, and we came back into the to the room here, and there's patio furniture in here. I'm sorry? Yeah, we didn't uh, what's, in. What's, what's the room number? Two, uh, I think it's 215, if I remember right. Um, my kid has the keys. Maybe, let, here, hold on. Hey, let me get him. He's in the bathroom here. Hello? Yes. Okay. You got me? Dad, he's smoking in the bathroom again. Yeah, we'll pay the fee. We'll pay the fee. He's got mom's cigarettes in the lighter, and he's got the door locked. He's in there smoking again. Well, open the door. Open the door, son. Uh, uh, we got a problem. We got a situation. What do yeah, I do? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. What's the room number? Well, I, I thought it was What's... 215, but if that's not it, then my kid who's smoking in the bathroom right now has got the room key, and I don't... I don't I can't uh, move. I'm on a. I'm on stitches. Uh, I've got stitches, you know. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I I can't help you until I know where you're at. Well, maybe one of my sons can like throw something from the room or something here. Dad, Dad, it's it's marijuana. I don't think that's cigarettes. He's got weed in there too. How do you know what that smells like, son? Because I, I took a deer pledge. They told me. Oh, okay. I'll see. He's breaking. See? He's breaking shit in there, Dad. Yeah, yeah, that's good. There we go. They can't find us. So they might as well just smash up the room. Hello. What's your name? Are you on the first level or the second level? Which level are you on? The first Hello? level. Huh? I'm sorry? The best level? Are you on my the first? My dad handed me the phone. My dad handed me the phone. Where? He grabbed the bottle of mar- he grabbed the bottle of marijuana and he left. I don't know where he went. He just gave me the phone. Who is it? I don't know where where did my dad go? Dad, don't leave me with Brian. He's a fucking asshole. He left. He left me in the room with Brian. Hi, I'm Brian's Brian. in the bathroom. Brian, quit smoking. You've made no, dad I... mad. 
You got to follow the bro code and you got to smoke, bro. No. Brian's a bad influence. Hey, want to hang out in my garage? That's Dad's garage. Oh. Well, I hang out in there sometimes. What do you do out there? I got myself a little tent in there. and I hang out back there and smoke some doobies. Oh, my God. Should should I smoke with you, Brian? I can't hear myself think anymore, man. I can hear my hair grow. That's making so much noise. I think I got a contact high. Dad? Father? Father? Hello? Uncle Milky Drawers? Hello? I think I figured it out. I'm in the bathroom. Hello? <laughs> hello? Hi, hello? Hi, how can I help hello? you? Hi, uh, we were wondering about uh, rooms. Do you have vacancies or no? Uh, for how many people and how many vets? Three people, uh, no pets. And how many beds? And three vets. Yeah, three veterans of uh, the Cola Wars. Let me put my brother on. He'll, he'll make the reservation. Here. Yeah, we need uh, three three beds for three veterinarians and three pets. Uh, we only allow, we don't allow three pets in a room. But there'll be three vets in there to take care of the three pets. Yeah, I'm sorry. We don't. We only allow one dog max per room. What if I rent three rooms but keep three dogs in one of the rooms? Yeah, we can't do that. I'm sorry. Well, what if I did it and didn't tell you? Because each room allocates me one dog. The three dogs to the three rooms... You see? Yeah, I mean, well, that's just, it's part of a, when you sign for the room, uh, you sign for the pets, so that mm-hmm. just results in a in an extra charge on your case. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, what's the charge if I raise, yeah, what's the charge if I raise, like, a big circus tent in the parking lot, and I bring elephants and horses and acrobats and all that stuff to the hotel? Uh, I'm not too sure. You think you could calculate it really quick? Because I'm probably going to do it. Could I help you with something else? It's getting started. Border in, I can help you. Hi. The circus is in town. And I'm the circus uh, ringmaster. Somebody playing Atari? Hello? What are you going to do? Hello? Hello? Can I do for you? Hey, just a. It's just a. Casino or the hotel? It's both. Oh, okay. Do you have any video games there? We do not. Oh, that's so everything. Everything just takes your money, but doesn't provide you with entertainment. Kind of like Ninja Gaiden. Can I do something for you? Wow. Um. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've got a fair team of, like, two psychiatrists and three marriage and family therapists, and Mm -hmm. they can't seem to figure out what the fuck is wrong with me. Maybe you could take a crack at it. Thank you for calling college. 
Hi. Uh, I'm bending over in the room, and my brother's helping me. Uh, uh, well, I tore my pants. So yeah, we're, I'm just wondering if you had, like, a suture kit or, or something to sew it up, sew me back up. I have a yeah, we're doing... We're doing oh, that's yeah. going to be great. We're doing fat yoga up here. Okay. Yeah. We're turning the heat up, like, a ways up, and then we took the bed and we put it against the wall, and we just got a bunch of our fat friends coming up here, and we're doing lots of bends and stretches. Seven seven two four eleven hundred hike. It's all yours. Six I could in a cage may help you. Yeah, you need to tell these people in the room next to me that that's not okay. Here, here at Lakeside, or are you talking about the Nugget? Yeah. No, I'm at Lakeside, and you have to tell them that's not okay. They are actively trying to. I mean, they are terrorizing me using their bodily gases from their room. It, it is disgusting, and I won't tolerate it. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let you talk to security because they can handle that. Okay, hold on, please. Okay, a whole fright. This is Frank. Hi, Frank. Uh, the people next door to me, uh, I keep hearing sounds that what sounds like, um, and I'm not, I'm not being an asshole or anything, but it sounds like farting. I believe the people next to me, which I had an altercation with in the hallway, are actively putting their rear ends up to the vents and blowing farts from their room into my room. And you're at what property? I'm at the Lakeside. Nugget? You're at Lakeside. No, Lakeside. Lakeside, yeah. out in the RV park? Yeah. What space number? Uh, I'm at 112. All right, one of us will be out in just a minute. I fucking hope so. Give us just a few. Hurry it up. Come on. Ask them to bring the glade air freshener, Dwight. Please. It was straight, man. And then oh we got when he overreact. Hello? Burnside and 20 is Plaid Pantry. How can I help you? Hi, you said it's the panties? I said it's Burnside and 20 is Plaid Pantry. This is a business phone. How can panties, I help you? Panties, okay. Elizabeth's phone? It's a generic. Uh... Thank you for calling, Big Chief. How can I help you? Hello? Hello, please. Hello? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. How can I help you? Um, I seem to have left my car inside of the room. Did anybody turn that in? Card? What card? In? No, car. C-A-R. Car left in the room? What the heck are you saying? I have a Tesla. It's an origami Tesla. It's one that's able to be folded up about the size of a bike, and I took it into the room with me to charge it. Something to do with corruption. I don't think. Corrupt you... Nugget, this is Melissa. How can I help you? I doubt have you we, can. Have we I doubt before? she can help anything, man. Yeah, she probably can't even charge my Tesla. No, we don't have a Tesla charger. Sorry. Oh, well, then I can't come there. Okay, That's I'm sorry. discrimination. You have a good day. Hey, now. You're an all-star. Get your game on. <laughs> Go play. Did I have a stroke? Hello? I don't know. This is Dale Capitan. Can I help you? Hi. Hi, I'm El Capitan. I'm here to get the ship and go seaworthy. Oh, Sounds like her ship is sank. She's under the water. 
The water is tight. in. Thank you for yeah. calling the Sugar That is high tide. We will be right with you. Yeah, I can see behind her. Thank you for calling the Sugarloaf Mountain Motel and Market. We will be right with you. And Market. Yes, you're not sure. It's a question mark. And Market. Nice. Good old music. Hello, can I help you? Ah, fuck! Hello? 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was recording. Ha! My, no, my, yeah, my mistake. Oh. My, I thought it, I was going to get a robot. That, that's on me. I apologize. Um, so I, I have a problem. We, we're, 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 we're actually doing a, uh, a TikTok challenge in the room right now called Will It Flush? And what we did is I had my, my buddy swallow a GPS, like a small one, uh, about a day ago, and he just now evacuated his bowels, and we flushed it, and we're tracking it. Where do the pipes go? Uh, what room are you in? Well, we're in 215, but we got to get this GPS back. It was kind of expensive. And we didn't think it was going to go this far, but it's somewhere in here. And we need to get, we need to get it back. Where do your pipes go? I, oh, I'm not room two, uh, 215. I don't have a room in 215. Are you in Oregon? I'm pretty sure that's, that's the room. That's the room. What, what's that up? No. Are, He's are you in Oregon? Oregon? He's like a whole person. Oh. No, we didn't. No, Jerry Oregon didn't come with us. No. Are you? Are you in the state? We're of in the. No, we're in Nevada. Okay, I have no room two fifteen. I could have swore okay. that's what it was, but I don't have the the key card sleeve with me. Uh, we're just really concerned about getting this very expensive cards. GPS back. Where, where does it? Where does the pipes I have go? No key cards. I'm sorry. I have got to go now. Thank you. We're, right. we're eating the sugar loaf. In- Sure, stay hotel up by Best Western. May I help you? Hey, what are you doing out of the kitchen? Um, folding clothes. Uh-huh. Folding clothes. That sounds about right. Listen, uh, is there a man that I could talk some technical points with real quick? Uh, uh no. Well, I need to know how to, because uh, my remote control is no longer working the TV. I need to reprogram this, and I don't think you're intellectually capable of it. Huh. What room are you in? It's flash 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. It's still flashing 12 o'clock? The yeah. VCR in here isn't programmed either. What room are you in? We're in 215. 215? Yeah. Hang on, I forgot who I'm dealing with. Uh, I can't get Two, off the robot. Two, one, five. Uh-huh. Off the robot won't put the little spinny discs in the gyro I'll send somebody down. Down? It's down up. where? Ma'am, we're, two, one, five means up. I know, it's but like I, when will you're flying some, a plane. I will send somebody down to your room. Thank you. Alternative Vatican, help you. Hi, uh, Hi, I'm here in the room with my brother, and we couldn't get the remote control to work. And I noticed it, and I turned it around, and I noticed there was a big bulge in the batteries. Hey, let What's me give my number? brother the phone. Okay. What's your room hey. number? What's your room number? 215. 215? Look, I opened the back, yeah, I opened the door on the back of the batter on the back of the remote, you know, where the batteries are? Yeah. And they were bulging. Okay, you want me to um, send somebody over with some batteries? Yeah, Hello? but I I don't want huh? them to be bulging batteries. Uh, I'm Do you want some batteries? <laughs> Do you yeah, want me to have somebody go over and use them? Concerned? With the yeah. bulge and a, and a battery? I just would change it. No, I don't it, want bulging batteries. We don't have bulging batteries. I said, do you want another um, batteries for your remote? Yeah? I didn't request bulging batteries. They would, it was a... Oh, I've never heard this. <laughs> Thank you for calling Shares the Hotel of West Western. This is Rihanna speaking. Hi, Rihanna. Hello. Hi, I have a problem with the remote control. 
Um, in what room? Two fifteen. The 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 batteries they're bulging, and the it makes the cover like I can't get the cover off because the batteries are so bulged. Um. Um. I don't think I have any other remotes down here, and I don't have a maintenance man. You have a maintenance woman? I don't think I have one of those either tonight. Do you have, like, a, anybody who looks handy? Um. I'm not, I'm not talking, like, paper towel holder handy. I'm talking more like... <laughs> You know, opening a, a strong, like a, a jar that the lid is too tight on, kind of handy, you know. Bring it down to me and let me see what I can do. It's just the remote, right? Yeah, the, the batteries are bulging. And I don't know, it makes me uncomfortable when things are, are bulging like that. I, lots of bad experiences. And I mean, they could erupt. I mean, bul bulging is a precursor to eruption, right? Yes. Have you ever heard of bulging batteries erupting unexpectedly or even prematurely? No. Now, where have you been hiding? Um, nowhere. I mean, this isn't going to... I'm not going to get, like, an extra charge. I mean, the batteries were no. pretty bulged. Okay. You don't I'm, have to I'm worry on a about fixed that. income. I really can't. Yeah, I'm on a fixed income. I really can't deal with unexpected expenses related to bulging batteries. So. No, you don't have to worry about it. As long as you don't break nothing in the room. Oh. Well. Yes, I gotta go then, because I don't want to talk about. Well, there we go. Things are breaking. That's not me.
Tis at immoralhall.com or immoraljuice.com for more information about this, this show. Yes. Uh, when am I getting my five dollars? <laughs>